And at number 10, Christian Bale. Christian Bale is known for his intense dedication to his roles, and he's been known to physically transform many times to support his performances, the most notable of which saw him lose 62 pounds in four months for his role in The Machinist. When he got the part of Patrick Bateman in American Psycho, he decided to get plastic surgery to look perfect. Although he liked the look of them, Bale felt that his teeth were not right for the character, so he had them changed before filming. He told The Guardian in 2000, quote, I liked my old teeth, I have a molding of them on my shelf, but with Patrick Bateman, his physicality is much more important than with most characters. I looked at myself in the mirror and it just wasn't right. I was warned that if I got caps, I could get a lisp, and you might still be able to tell in a close-up. So I thought, I like my teeth, but I'm not so attached to them that I'm going to ruin this whole movie because I refuse to get them done. So even though there was no actual reason reason to do so, Bale got the painful process of getting his teeth redone. And at number 9, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise shocked fans recently when he stepped out looking more puffy than ever. But after a close investigation, it's clear that there have been subtle changes in Cruise's appearance for years now. It's long been rumored that he had a nose job early in his career, but in 2012 he told Playboy, quote, I haven't and never would. Although his good friend, Cuba Gooding Jr., put some cracks in that statement when he later insisted that Tom Cruise absolutely had work done. Cuba told a US TV show, quote, I don't know what he's had done, but I remember I surprised him at his house one day and he had all of those dots all over his face. These dots are common for facial procedures, so doctors can map out what exactly they want to do to the face. However, there is a chance that he had a consultation done, but never went through with the work. Then more recently at a baseball game, his face looked very full and puffy. Since it didn't look like he gained weight in an appearance later that month, it's clear he got some sort of Botox and filler. And at number 8, Howard Stern. Even though Howard Stern's voice is his main asset, he still decided to go under the knife to improve his looks. In the 90s, he felt he was the king of all media, not just radio, and felt he should invest in himself by amping up his appearance. He chose to invest in himself, undergoing a rhinoplasty to remove the bump on his nose, and liposuction to diminish the fat under his chin. He's only admitted to those two procedures, but it's been rumored that he's had much more done. Maybe even a facelift. Either way, he looks great for his age, so whatever he's done has worked. In at number 7, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons has been rocking with the band Kiss for decades, and obviously that kind of lifestyle is bound to take a toll on the body. Simmons claimed to have never gotten drunk or high in his career, and so he's actually in better shape than most. But as he got older, he decided it was time to change things up. And thankfully, he has shared the work he's had done with the public. In 2007, he and partner Shannon Tweed openly got his and hers facelifts. It's also been reported that he's gotten Botox and even eyelid surgery, which is another common anti-aging procedure. Although he's gotten some work done, Simmons says he does not recommend any of his fans to get work done. He said, quote, I don't recommend anything that I've had done to anyone. Just because I order something off the menu doesn't mean you should. Order whatever makes you happy. Everybody's journey should be a personal choice. In at number 6, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone is one of those celebrities that have been frozen in time. No matter how many years passes, he still looks as good as ever. Despite recently turning 75, he truly does not look a day over 50. Because of this, many fans assume he's had some subtle work done, and they would be right. But probably not the type of work that you might expect. Stallone was born with a health condition that destroyed the nerves on the left side of his face. To fix these, he went under the knife many times to make his face symmetrical, but the surgeries were never able to fix it entirely, and he was known to be photographed on his right side so it was less noticeable. As he got older, the issue came back, and he tried to fix it once again with a facelift. Stallone spoke about his surgery to people, saying, quote, People see this scar and think I've had a facelift. What they don't notice is that I don't have a scar over here by my right ear. What do they think, that I could only afford to do half of my face? Sure, why not do it? You have body work done on your car. Although he's owned up to the facelift, fans speculated that he must have had more work done to look so good. Halfway at number 5, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This one was definitely the most shocking to me, although I guess it's safe to assume the world's highest paid actor would spruce up his looks if he felt he needed to. Although Johnson has not gotten the traditional procedures of Botox or a nose job, or at least he isn't admitting to getting those, since The Rock trains so much, he's put in a ton of work to get his rock hard physique, he encountered a common issue called gynecomastia. It is a condition that results in the enlargement of the male chest through fatty deposits. 
so basically he developed man boobs. Since that was not the most appealing thing on screen, The Rock decided to have gynecomastia reduction surgery, which removed the excess fat from his breasts. Johnson was totally open and upfront about the surgery and his aesthetic motivations. And in at four, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay is known for his famous scowl, which I guess adds quite a few wrinkles to the celebrity chef's face. After years of being pressured to make a change in his appearance, he finally went through with it and got some work done. Apparently, his good friend Simon Cowell encouraged it, but his kids making fun of his wrinkles was the last straw. When talking about the procedure, he said, quote, I've got four children, and they'd say, Dad, why do you have so many wrinkles on your face when Clementine's daddy has no wrinkles? Then another time, he said, quote, I woke up in the morning and Matilda, my daughter, was trying to squeeze pound coins in there. <laughs> Poor man. In the end, he opted for laser surgery rather than Botox, however, he's since been suspected of getting everything from facelifts to hair transplants. He later stated he was never getting another procedure again. Haley's <laughs> kid was putting coins in his face. And at number three, MGK hair transplant. This one is a little known procedure, but it made a huge difference in MGK's appearance. Back in the day, Coulson used to speak about his thin hair, and he consulted with his hairstylist to come up with ways that he could make his hair look thicker. Apparently, the stylist told him the best thing was to get a hair transplant. We aren't sure when exactly the change took place, but looking back on his old photos versus now, there's a massive difference. Before, his hair was a lot thinner and his hairline was farther back on his forehead. It looks like he underwent a hair transplant procedure where a plastic surgeon took hair from another part of the body and put it on his head. This process can take three to 10 sessions, which must be done months apart, according to Healthline. Each session costs from $4,000 to $15,000. And at number two, Jeff Bezos. Since becoming the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos has clearly taken more of an interest in his looks. And it's clear that he's gotten some work done. Shortly before he went to space with his crew, it was clear he had recently made a big change for the day. Dr. Corey L. Hartman, a dermatologist in Alabama, told the Daily Beast, quote, it's such a drastic change. To poke fun at the change, Hartman posted to Instagram saying, quote, We see you, Jeff. Next time, get the filler a month earlier so that the swelling has time to die down. Keeps people like me out of your business. In general, his face looks more plump and even more swollen. The most noticeable change is his smoother skin and plumper lips. It's been speculated that he got Botox in his forehead, potentially a small facelift, or filler in his cheeks, then filler in his lips. And finally, number one, Elon Musk. Doctors are convinced that the billionaire Tesla owner got a hair transplant at some point in his career. When we look back at old photos of him when he was in his 20s, it's clear that his hair was thinning a lot, and he was even balding on a large portion of his head. Now it's completely the opposite, and his hair is very thick. Since it is impossible for hair to grow back after falling out, doctors are certain that he got the hair transplant. Hair loss can be delayed or prevented with the use of special or proper treatment, but hair cannot regrow without an operation. Since he's become a more prominent figure in mainstream media, it makes sense that he would want to look his best and portray an image of being younger than he actually is. And at number 10, Courtney Cox. The legendary Friends actor finally gave in to pressures to get filler and Botox, and she hated the result that it had on her face. She said that she would get some sort of filler here and there, but she didn't realize that they were all basically layering on top of each other, which led to a look that she hated. When speaking about the procedures, she told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. She also made the change back to natural for her work, explaining her face didn't have the natural movement with the fillers, adding quote, you need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend. And at number nine, Heidi Montag. The Hill star is famous for going overboard with plastic surgery. She infamously turned her girl next door look into that of a Barbie doll. She even underwent a whopping 10 procedures in one day in 2010, putting her health at risk. Montag revealed years later that she regretted making so many changes to her body, saying quote, I was definitely way in over my head. I kind of wanted a few enhancements and then it kind of got out of hand. I wasn't really told the repercussions and what would happen, emotionally and physically, and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. Following all her plastic surgery procedures, that was all anybody knew her for, and she was no longer cast in any projects that were not related to her cosmetic enhancements. And at number 8, Scott Carrot Top Thompson. Carrot Top is no stranger to worst celebrity plastic surgery lists, and his appearance has changed considerably over the years. One doctor told MakeMeHeal.com that it it appears as though Thompson has undergone a brow lift along with Botox injections, lip plumping, and laser peels, which is proved by his disappearing freckles. It's also been speculated that he's taken steroids and they are responsible for his buff appearance, but he denies getting anything done. When speaking about it in 2015, he told Florida Today, quote, I never had any plastic surgery. I can see why 
of people think that because I got really big for a while, but I've never got any work done. I mean, if I was going to have plastic surgery, I would look better than this. Keratop has had incredible success in his career, specifically in Vegas. But some say his career could be still thriving if not for his changing appearance. And at number seven, Yolanda Hadid. While Yolanda was battling her Lyme disease, she decided to reverse every cosmetic procedure that she could to be completely natural. This all took place when she was filming The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so it was captured on the show. First, she decided to get her breast implants removed and then remove all of her fillers. She shared the news with her Instagram followers, writing in the caption of her post that she was quote 55 and smiling from the inside out, finally back to the original 1964. Living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox extensions, and all the BS I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it almost killed me. Because of her desire to live life naturally in every way possible, she's also stepped back from working. And at number 6, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is known for her signature pout that she achieved with the help of fillers. And with those lips, she became a billionaire, selling lip kits so people could try and achieve the lips that Kylie had. But Kylie actually regretted how large she made her lips at one point. While the sisters were being interviewed by Allure, Kylie revealed their lips got way too big. Apparently, her sisters even had to set her straight and tell her to relax on the filler. And even though it can be argued that Kylie's cosmetic procedures brought her career to new heights, it's all anyone can talk about when discussing the star now. And plastic surgery and fillers will likely be linked to her forever. Halfway number five, Khloe Kardashian. When the Kardashian sisters first started their rise to fame, Khloe seemed to always be the odd one out. She was constantly referred to as the ugly duckling of the family. But as time went on, Khloe did her best to reverse that image by getting multiple plastic surgeries to change her face and body. Her body even became such a point of conversation that she started the show Revenge Body. The whole premise of the show is that people use Khloe's help to transform their bodies along with their lives. However, there was a lot of controversy around the show and Khloe giving workout advice because many are convinced that Khloe got her killer body with surgery. This is because her body is an entirely different shape than before and it definitely doesn't look natural. Things got even worse when an unedited photo of Khloe's body was leaked and she reacted by trying to get it taken off the internet, proving she's not even happy with her body unless it's edited. And at number four, Courtney Love. Courtney Love is best known as the singer for the band Hole as well as the widow of Kurt Cobain. However, she also has a reputation for significantly changing her looks through plastic surgery. She started off with a grunge punk aesthetic but slowly changed up the classic Hollywood look. Her most noticeable change has been her nose job. Love has admitted that she has changed her look significantly since she was the poster child for 90s grunge. She got her lips injected and had a nose job, but now she says that she regrets it. It's also changed the way that her fans look at her, and they really don't like that she's so different than before. And at number three, Vivica A. Fox. Fox is a popular actress in the 90s, starring in movies like Set It Off and Two Can Play That Game. She also did a lot of modeling and was known for her sweet and classic look. However, things changed in her career when she decided to get some work done, it drastically changed her look. Most noticeably was a nose job and some fillers. Since her career took a huge hit after her face had noticeably changed, we can assume the changes put a big damper on her career. And since she's only appeared in a few movies since, as well as being on The Celebrity Apprentice, I guess that could hold true. And at number two, Donatella Versace. Donatella got her fame through running high-end fashion brand Versace with her late brother, Gianni. And in the decades since she's been a public figure, her face has changed considerably. Most would say for the worse. Over time, she's become unrecognizable, with her nose and lips changing the most. It's gotten so bad that Donatella has landed herself on pretty much every worst plastic surgery list that there is. Donatella is only admitted to getting Botox, nothing more, so she has not admitted to regretting any of her procedures. But since her reputation has taken such a hit because of her changing face, we can assume it's had a negative impact on her career as well. At the very least, it's made her less respected by the public. And finally, number one, Adrian Bailon. The real host and former Disney Channel star has opened up about regretting her decision to get breast implants in her teens. She told E! News in 2014, quote, When I was 19 years old, I actually did get breast implants. Probably one of my greatest regrets. I went from having an insecurity that I didn't have big breasts to now looking like an adult film star. And I was like, uh, this is isn't great. She also revealed that she got the procedure right before she was set to film Cheetah Girls 2, and it was quite a shock for Disney executives. But she says the implants did not last, and she decided to get them taken out shortly after. She also added that the implants stretched out her skin, adding, quote, it was not the smartest decision for my career and just for myself. It was wanting to feel like a woman. Thankfully, she was able to fix things and has had a great career so far. I love her on the real. Beginning our list number 10 is Yolanda Hadid. In case you're wondering how Bella and Gigi Hadid turned out to be so beautiful, that's where Yolanda comes in. Their mom was once a model herself and also starred on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. 
She's been open about her battle with Lyme disease, which caused a lot of health issues for her due to her breast implants and fillers in her face. Her implants were removed in 2015 after doctors discovered one implant had ruptured and was leaking silicone into her chest cavity, which was aggravating her Lyme disease symptoms. She didn't explain what caused the implant to rupture. Sometimes with bad plastic surgery, it can just happen as like a freak accident. But she ended up removing everything from her body and shared a photo of her results on Instagram. She shared an empowering photo of her at 55 years old in lingerie saying that she removed all implants, Botox and fillers and has never felt better. She looks so good. She never needed them because she looks phenomenal. Coming in at number 9 is Jessica Simpson. She revealed a lot about her personal life in January of 2020 when she released her memoir titled Open Book. She shared some of her struggles like her addiction to alcohol, but she also opened up about her experience with plastic surgery. In 2015, she had two tummy tuck surgeries which left her with some complications after the second procedure. She explained why she got it in the first place and said, I wanted to get rid of the stretch marks and loose skin left sagging from my back to back pregnancy. I was so ashamed of my body at this point that I wouldn't let Eric see me without a t-shirt on, Eric being her husband. Turns out she got an infection from one of the surgeries and she was in the hospital for 9 days. She was vomiting so much that doctors thought she was going to burst something and told her that she might need a blood transfusion. Coming into number 8 is Axl Rose. The Guns N' Roses singer disappeared in the mid 90s when the band started to fall apart but he returned down the road with a completely new look. He hasn't been very open about his surgery experience and has always dodged the rumors but fans were quick to point out how different his face looks. They think it was his transformation that actually had him in hiding all those years before releasing a new album with Guns N' Roses in 2008 which was 15 years after they had first fallen out. With his disappearance and the new look, reports were made that he had some work done and also Botox and hair transplants. I mean there's no denying it. He looks very different. Sliding to number 7 is Dana Delaney. The Desperate Housewives actress wishes she could undo some of the work she's had done. That's how bad her experience was. One of the procedures in particular was a nightmare for her. She told Prevention Magazine in 2010 that her dermatologist injected Botox in her forehead and hit a nerve which created a huge hematoma. She said, the nerve has been dead ever since, it affected the muscle in my right eye, so my eye has started to droop a little. I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I am not. We might not be able to tell the mistakes made in her transformation, but I can imagine how awful that would feel to like look in the mirror every day and not see yourself as symmetrical or not being happy with the procedure. I looked at her pictures, I don't notice anything. Up next number 6 is Joan Van Ark. Jaws dropped earlier this year when the 76 year old actress showed up to an event in January 2020 and her face looked like it had melted off. Those were the words from a witness who did an interview with Globe. She was once the leading face of primetime soap operas before she made some adjustments to her face. According to a few surgeons, she had several surgeries on her face including eyelid reconstruction and chemical peels. Apparently she had some issues after some of her procedures so she went back to try and fix them but then it only made it worse which eventually led to her skin looking like it was melting off her face. Now I've seen some pictures and I don't know if it's right to say it looks like it's melting off. Her skin does it doesn't look real, it looks a little waxy, so maybe that's what they mean. Like it really doesn't look real. Halfway through at number 5 is Farah Abraham. Even if you don't follow her career closely, you've probably seen some of the photos when she had a procedure done on her face and was left with massive lips. Her photos made the cover of magazines which is probably the last thing she wanted. The teen mom star is known for her plastic surgery and massive transformation, looking like a completely different person than when she was introduced on MTV show 16 and Pregnant. Her entire body is plastic and she openly admits that. But one facial procedure lip injections left her completely botched and tripled her lip size. Turns out she had a really bad allergic reaction even though it was not her first time getting them done. It's hard to say who is to blame for the blow up but it hasn't stopped her from going back and getting more. So couldn't have been that bad. She did look like Donald Duck for some time though. 
Cruising into number 4 is Michaela Romanini. For many years she was one of Italy's biggest stars and was titled one of the most beautiful women in the country. But then she got a ton of plastic surgery and was left looking completely unrecognizable. Reports have said that she doesn't regret any of the procedures despite the media outlets saying that she looks like an alien. Plastic surgery soon became an addiction to her after she became obsessed with lip collagen injections. Her lips are so big that it's honestly hard to believe you can fit any more collagen in there. I'm not kidding. But uh, you won't convince her of that because um, she still goes on and on. In the third spot is Reed Ewing. The actor is known for playing Dylan in the ABC comedy Modern Family and also Charlie in the TV series Zeke and Luther. In 2015, he opened up about his plastic surgery transformation and said he underwent surgery because he had body dysmorphia. He said he regrets it more than anything and wishes he never did it. It all started in 2008 when he was just 19 years old. He made his first appointment to meet with a cosmetic surgeon. He said that doctor convinced him that large cheek implants would fix the issue in his face, but when he woke up from surgery, he was screaming in pain. He went back to another doctor six months later to get it fixed, and over the next few years, he continued to get more procedures done. He ended up going into depression, he says, and was dealing with a lot of mental health issues and an eating disorder. He actually went into hiding after the surgeries, but the photos of him now, all these years later, he really doesn't look bad at all. So it all worked out. Taking over the number two spot is Jennifer Grey. You may have heard her story on our other list because her surgery experience was so bad that she greatly regrets it more than anything in her life. She says her plastic surgery is what ruined her entire career. The Dirty Dancing star has always had a distinctive face and often booked roles because of it. But when she decided to get rhinoplasty, it changed everything and she said it was the worst decision that she's ever made. She said the operation completely changed her face and she was unable to book roles after that. When speaking about it during an interview, she said, I went in the operating room as a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was like being in a witness protection program or being invisible. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of my nose job. By no means does she look ugly. I have looked at pictures. However, I get what she's saying because when you compare it to her before and after photos, she does look like a different person. In the number one spot is Amanda Lepore. The famous transgender diva got herself the title of a moving sculpture after the many plastic surgeries she had done. She's always been very open and honest about her transformation and has no problem flaunting her very plastic surgery journey. To sum it up quickly, she had alterations done to basically every part that the body could physically have done. She has had booty silicone injections, a nose job, a facelift, her hairline lowered, cheek fillers, breast implants, and to get an hourglass figure, she even had her bottom ribs broken. It has been reported that the total cost of all her cosmetic procedures is over a million dollars. But she loves that people tell her she looks like a doll. She actually wrote a book called Doll Parts where she shares every detail about her journey as a transgender beauty queen. At number 10 we have American actress Renee. Zellweger. The rumors of her alleged plastic surgery operation started from her attendance at Elle's Women in Hollywood party in 2014, where the entire internet decided she looked completely different from her last public appearance. And trust me when I say they were not quiet about this. Aside from her not seeming like her usual self visually, Renee spoke with people about the issues following the social media rampant. She told the media outlet at the time, quote, I'm glad folks think I look different. I'm living a different, happy, more fulfilling life and I'm thrilled that perhaps it shows. In line with her previous statement, she also touched on the fact that she felt like the conversations stimulated around her appearance in general were targeted at her by people who were snooping for an unrealistic truth, and how they wouldn't stop hassling her until she finally addressed it. Yet people were still far from convinced anyway, so I guess there went her hopes for less harassment. At number 9 we have California girl singer, songwriter, actress and TV personality Katy Perry. This pop princess has certainly made her mark in Hollywood over the years, but one thing she says she has not done is undergone plastic surgery. Perry dished to Refinery29 in a January 2018 interview about which cosmetic procedures she apparently made the decision to greenlight versus the ones she had not. In typical girl boss Katy fashion, she also proceeded to flock to the defense of people who obtained plastic surgeries, as she understands that doing so is both a decision and 
and write completely for themselves. The Dark Horse artist detailed, quote, I haven't had any. I've done lasers and gotten injections under my eyes for the hollowing, which I'd recommend for everyone who wants a solution for their dark circles. But all my assets are real. People tend to think they are fake, but it doesn't really matter. We're getting away from the negative stigma about physical alterations. Of course, always be your authentic self, but if someone wants a nose job that makes them feel better and they love their profile more because of it, go ahead. Do whatever makes you feel better about yourself. At number 8 we have Emily Ratajkowski. Emily had accusations of getting lip injections before and she took to her Instagram stories to address the topic in January 2021. In this she fired back with, for anyone saying you need to stop with the lip injections, I've never had lip injections. No judging folks who do, but you can't get injections when you're pregnant. She even pulled out the statistics to back up her facts, following up with, a woman's blood volume increases 50%, which is why ladies can get a little puffy in the face and lips during pregnancy. In response, fans had said things like how Emily had been pregnant forever, which was a rude comment she very quickly shut down. She even later shared a picture of herself from the 6th grade to prove her natural lips are nearly identical, keeping in mind that as we develop, our facial structures can change slightly, so they wouldn't be 100% the same. Still quite the impressive way to prove your point Em. At number 7 we have American actress and model Megan Fox. Now Megan had to respond to her own set of plastic surgery rumors in the windmill back in 2011, where she claimed back with a quirky Facebook album under the title, Things You Can't Do With Your Face When You Have Botox. And if this wasn't nearly comical enough in proving her haters wrong, Megan proceeded to create various facial expressions and at one point pointed to her wrinkles in the collection of photos. And well, when you're as stunning as Megan is, I can see why people would flock to the she's had plastic surgery for sure spiel. But regardless, please remember that not every beautiful celebrity has gone under the knife to achieve their attractive auras. Some beauty in Hollywood really is natural, and neither way is a wrong one of living. I know it's so easy to gossip about others' lives and what they choose to do with it, but we should really start refraining from commenting on people's appearances in general, even if we feel like some celebs are actually lying about it. Anyways, let's move on. At number 6 we have the ever so iconic singer, actress and dancer Jennifer Lopez, known mostly under her stage name of JLo with how much popularity she's accumulated in her youthful looking years, it's no surprise that she's yet another celebrity who received plastic surgery accusations. In January of last year, JLo uploaded a video of her testing out her new face mask under her JLo beauty line. A user on the platform posted a comment which reads, you definitely have Botox and tons of it. And it's all good, just saying. This seemed to be Jennifer's snapping point because she rapidly responded with lol that's just my face. For the 500 millionth time, I've never done any Botox or injectables or surgery, just saying. Get you some JLo beauty and feel beautiful in your own skin. Jennifer then added onto this comment with the statement, here's another JLo beauty secret. Try spending time being more positive, kind and uplifting of others. Don't spend your time trying to bring others down. That will keep you youthful and beautiful too. Sending you love. What a classy way to stick it to them. At number 5 we have American model Kendall Jenner. Now the Kardashians have all been under loads of heat both in the past and presently about their supposed cosmetic procedures and lacks of truth in them. So of course Kendall was not safe from social media's firings. In a 2017 upload on her website and app, Kendall debunked cosmetic surgery theories from fans following a Facebook live event she and her sister Kylie collaborated on. Kendall explained how her younger sister's makeup skills were the reason why her appearance seemed altered. Fans were not convinced, but Kendall still wrote the following. Quote, All of a sudden photos of us came out with headlines like, OMG, Kendall got her lips done and got full facial reconstruction. Look at her cheekbones, look at her nose. I was like, this is crazy. I didn't even address it at the time. Because if I address it, people are going to be like, oh, so she's defending herself. She must be guilty. As a model, why would I have my face reconstructed? It doesn't make any sense. Kylie had previously cracked a joke by accepting responsibility for the spark of rumors of Kendall's face when she did her older sister's makeup. She informed Snapchat that Kendall let me overline her lip today with lip liner and everyone thinks she got lip injections. I'm sorry Kendall. At number 4 we have another American model, this time it's Bella Hadid. Models seem to be a trend for centering around accusations of them lying about plastic surgery, but I believe it's because a supermodel's entire career is based on how she looks, and unfortunately that means speculations and criticism will always come at large against the praises. As an accomplished model and gigs, Bella also takes one of the top spots of being a style and beauty icon, so naturally she's been under fire for not being entirely natural. 
but Bella has denied these claims every time. She spoke with InStyle for an interview in 2018 where she stated, People think I got all this surgery or did this and that. And you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers in my lip. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. At number three, we have Hailey Bieber. Amongst her fairly recent title of being Justin Bieber's wife, she is very much her own person because of the mega successful supermodel career she maintains. Hailey has also faced previous backlash about possibly lying about getting procedures done, and many will say her before and after pictures speak for themselves. Her subjection to harsh criticism led to her slamming a plastic surgeon account on Instagram when a side by side photo of her as a teenager was being compared to her visuals now. Quote, Stop using pics that are edited by makeup artists. This photo on the right is not what I look like. I've never touched my face, so if you're gonna sit around and compare me at 13 and then me at 23, at least use a natural photo that wasn't edited so crazy. I think I'll leave this one up to you guys to debunk though. At number two, we have another Kardashian. This time she is the core of their bunch and single handedly the reason why they all have their fame today. Kim Kardashian has always been a touchy subject when it comes to plastic surgery theories for as long as I can remember. But one instance that really reeled everybody in was her body accusations after she gave birth to her eldest daughter, Northwest, back in 2013. Naturally, the reality star was absolutely livid about the fact that her post baby efforts in the fitness department were suddenly being overshadowed by accusations of her having gone under the knife to achieve her bounce back body. She released a tweet which stated, I'm very frustrated today seeing reports that I got surgery to lose my baby weight. This is false. I worked so hard to train myself to eat right and healthy. I worked out so hard and this was such a challenge for me, but I did it. I'm so proud of my accomplishment and no one will take this away from me with fake reports. Say what you want about me, but I work hard and I'm the most disciplined person you will ever meet. As if she hadn't proven her point enough though, Kim spoke out once more a couple of months following a fan questioning on social media why it was so hard for everybody to believe she didn't work hard to achieve her body. They also complimented the reality star by saying how great she looked, to which Kim had responded with preach lol thank you. It sucks when people make up surgery or photoshop lies when I'm so disciplined and work so hard. Just trying to motivate others and show anyone struggling with weight they can totally achieve what they want if they're dedicated. I'll leave it at that. At number one, we have our affluent pop princess Ariana Grande. This wouldn't be the first time the gorgeous starlet would receive rumors of lying about procedures people believe she's undergone, but it would be the last time she used up her energy to address it. Ariana once pointed out in a 2014 video, quote, on the cover of some magazine, they said, oh, Ariana Grande, boob job, brow lift, cheap shaving, lips done. I was like, you're comparing a picture of me from when I'm 14 years old to when I'm 21, and I'm wearing a push up bra. Ariana also readdressed the rumors while reminiscing at throwback family photos with her older brother Frankie. While doing so, she lightheartedly joked, that's why I'm on the cover and they're saying I got plastic surgery. Goddamn puberty went nice. It came late, but she finally came through for me. Number 10, Jessica Simpson. She skyrocketed to fame in 1999 with the release of her debut album Sweet Kisses, followed by Irresistible in 2001 and five more studio albums. The singer, actress and author has also been very outspoken about her personal life Life, including her plastic surgery disasters. She told Glamour in 2006 that she hated her lip injections. Quote, I had that Rusty Lane stuff. It looked so fake to me. I didn't like that. But it went away in like four months. But lip injections were not the only thing which didn't work out for her. In her 2020 memoir, Open Book, she also revealed that she had two tummy tucks in 2015. And the second one was riddled with complications. Quote, I got an infection, colitis, and I was vomiting so much I thought I was going to bust my sutures. She had to spend nine days in hospital and narrowly avoided needing a blood transplant. It was sad because all she wanted to do was get rid of the stretch marks and loose skin that was left from her two back-to-back -back pregnancies. Looking back on the surgery, she claims that she did it because she wasn't strong enough to handle her insecurities and feels much more proud of her body now. Number nine, Khloe Kardashian. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all the sisters. But over the years, fans have seen such a drastic change in her appearance that can only be put down to excessive plastic surgery. And while the reality star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've had one nose job 
and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she's done injections, but not really Botox, because when she tried it, her face didn't really respond well. But all the surgery was probably because of something deeper. In fact, later in the episode, Chloe explained about how she experienced body image insecurity when doing photo shoots with her two sisters, Kim and Courtney. Quote, we did so many photo shoots and they would receive racks and racks of clothes. And I was told by so many different stylists, I was given about two or three pieces of clothing. But not to worry because I would be in the background anyway. Yikes. Number eight, Heidi Montag. The Hill star has had some really, really drastic surgery done and famously underwent 10 procedures in one day. It sounds crazy when you think about how difficult that would be to recover from, considering it was all done at the same time. Heidi had the massive surgery day in late 2009, which included breast implants, making her an F cup, a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs and a butt augmentation. The drastic photos of her new appearance hit the headlines in March of 2010, and the world was more than a little bit shocked. But three years later, Heidi admitted to US Magazine that she actually had big regrets and health problems as a result. I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you. She also said at the time she wasn't fully aware of the recovery time and the mental strain that it would put on her, and she claims her surgeon left this out on purpose. She went on to have some of the work reversed, but most mostly maintains her current look. Number seven, Courtney Cox. If you take a look at the photos of the Friends star from back in the 90s and compare it to now, it's easy to see that she has undergone a whole range of different procedures. But unlike most celebrities, Courtney Cox has been completely open about the cosmetic procedures that she's had done to her face. The 58 year old star confessed even though she thought she had undergone far too much at one point, looking completely unrecognizable. When she was asked about her fillers, she said, quote, you have no idea because it's gradual until you go, oh, this doesn't look right, and it's worse in pictures than in real life. Telling New Beauty magazine in 2017 that she gradually realized fillers were not her friend. Courtney explained that she gradually became addicted to surgery and was taking advice from the wrong people. Quote, well, what would end up happening is that you would go to a doctor who would say, you look great, but what would help is a little injection here or filler there. And she said she didn't realize how she looked until her friend looked at her face and said, whoa, no more. Number six, John Travolta. He's been a total heartthrob since the 1970s with his breakout role in Grease. Some of his most famous work includes Get Shorty, Saturday Night Fever, and Pulp Fiction. Not to mention the fact that he's also a pilot and has even built his own landing strip at one of his tropical properties. But the 68 year old's face has definitely evolved over the years. And to this day, he continues to go under the knife, all to try and maintain his youthful appearance. But although Travolta has never admitted to having plastic surgery, the actor surprised fans with what looked like the aftermath of too much plastic surgery after appearing in the series The People vs. OJ Simpson. In fact, fans were convinced that Travolta had some work done to his face and it all went wrong. But he has not commented on the speculations. So what's the real deal? Well, no one truly knows what he has or hasn't had done or why he looks so different, but many fans have commented on his frozen face and saying that he has taken a surgery a little too far. But let's not forget actors do have a heavy pressure to maintain their looks and appear perfect all the time. Number five, Vicky Gunvalson. The Real Housewives of Orange County star has never been shy about the multiple facial procedures she's gotten over the years. In July 2018, Gunvalson told US Weekly that the eyelid blepharoplasty and facelift she had just gotten would be her last procedures. She also opened up about the various fillers that she had gotten done and admitted that it made her look drastically different. I had a lot of fillers in my face and I didn't feel like it was me anymore. I had too many doctors, too many different times say, let's do this, let's do that, let's fill here. Vicky said that by the time she was done, she looked in the mirror and realized that she no longer looked anything like herself. But what's really upsetting is that she admitted that being called Miss Piggy by her co-star Slade Smiley was what really led her to get all the plastic surgery, which also included a nose job and a chin implant. She confessed in 2012 that she's always felt like she wasn't pretty enough, and that although she's taken a year to fully heal from the procedures, it didn't change her on the inside. Number four, Cardi B. 
The singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past. The singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past and things she has gotten done that bordered on the dangerous. So after she welcomed her daughter culture in July of 2018, she revealed that she has gotten a breast lift and liposuction. Although she did receive a huge amount of criticism from fans, she decided to defend her decision on Instagram Live. Quote, listen, I do whatever the F I want to do with my body. I don't have the time of day like you do. My job as an entertainer is a 24 hour job. She went on to say that she simply doesn't have the time to work out and there were specific things about herself that would not change no matter how hard she hit the gym. Quote, like my boobs, no matter how much I work out, they were not going to lift themselves. People were upset that a celebrity of her stature said that she didn't have as much time on her hands as regular people, but the honesty was refreshing. But she was forced to cancel several shows due to health complications from surgery. In fact, Cardi revealed that she had once gotten illegal butt injections and realized how risky it was when looking back on it. Number three, Sharon Osbourne. The former The Talk panelist is no stranger to plastic surgery, and it really seemed to work out for her over the years, considering her appearance was never really altered too drastically. But all that changed in late 2021, when she got a facelift that, in her own words, ended up making her look like a cyclops. Quote, I had a full facelift done in October, and I looked like one of those effing mummies that they wrap with bandages. She told the Sunday Times that the whole thing hurt like hell, but what was even worse is that the pain never really paid off. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. And she even told the surgeon, quote, you've got to be effing joking. One of my eyes was different than the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. All I need is a hunchback. It sounds funny, but it would have been a nightmare. Even her husband, Ozzy Osbourne, was totally against the results. Fortunately, she was able to undergo reconstructive work and she's now a lot more satisfied with her appearance. Number two, Linda Evangelista. The Canadian fashion model was undoubtedly one of the top supermodels from the 90s and is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all times. In fact, she's been featured on over 700 magazine covers. But Linda hasn't really been in the public very much in the last five years or so, and fans recently found out why. In September last year, she took to Instagram and revealed that she had undergone a cool sculpting treatment to her face, which she says left her unrecognizable, as it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. Quote, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured. She went on to say that the procedure actually did the opposite of what it was promised. In fact, what happened to her was a rare but serious side effect of cool sculpting. And the model said the treatment not only destroyed her livelihood, but sent her into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. Which is extremely sad when you consider just how much it would have affected her self-esteem. Number one, Donatella Versace. We all know Donatella Versace as a fashion designer and the vice president of one of the best known Italian fashion houses. But there's also something else Else that even people who aren't interested in fashion know her for. She's a huge fan of plastic surgery. And yes, she tops the list because of how far she went with her various procedures. It's possible that the 67 year old first went under the knife just to enhance what nature gave her. If you look at her old photos, it's pretty obvious that her face has undergone a lot of changes. Many people believe that she underwent too many of those plastic surgery procedures, possibly to correct the mistakes in each of those previous surgeries. There's been speculation that her facelift has been done to an extreme, pointing out the fact that she does seem to have a bit of a frozen look and is unable to make different facial expressions. She allegedly had lip augmentation, cheek implants, liposuction, and various other procedures. Conclusively, many have referred to Donatella as a very extreme example of plastic surgery because there's nothing subtle about the work she's had done. But the truth is, it probably had a lot to do with societal expectations and the pressure to maintain the image of her brand Versace. At number 10, Corinne Olympios. Like I said in my intro, celebrities are well known for getting plastic surgery here and there, so finding out that someone in Hollywood has gotten some work done really isn't all that surprising anymore. When fans ask about procedures you've had done, there's no reason to lie since these kinds of procedures aren't really all that taboo anymore. Turns out though that there are still some celebrities who want to make their fans believe that they are still au naturel even when that isn't necessarily the case. 
This happened with former Bachelor star Corinne Olympios after fans accused her of getting fillers when she said that she hadn't. In an attempt to try and disprove these fans' theories, Corinne posted some no makeup selfies, but fans still weren't fooled and they went digging. The people over at Us Weekly thought that this could be a scoop and so they also went looking for some old pics of the reality star and voila, they found some. Images from Corinne's high school yearbook were published and it showed her looking pretty different than she does now, proving that she really was lying about getting fillers. People also realized later that her no makeup selfies didn't really do much to prove whether or not that she had gotten work done, so it was really just a handful of lies on Corinne's part. At number 9, Kylie Jenner. We can't have a plastic surgery video without talking about Ikar Jenner. Apart from her sister Kim, Kylie is the next one you would think of when it comes to plastic surgery. Everyone knows Kylie for her signature big lips, but for a long time she denied ever getting work done. She built her entire makeup empire, Kylie Cosmetics, on her big lip brand because she claimed that for years she achieved her signature look by overlining her lips and therefore the Kylie lip kits were born. Turns out though that this was all a lie, probably just to boost sales. Kylie famously lied about how she somehow achieved a new appearance overnight, claiming that her makeup skills were the reason, but in reality, it's all fillers. Kylie finally came clean about her plastic surgery journey in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where she said, quote, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I would overline my lips with lip liner just to create an illusion of bigger lips. And then finally, I was like, this lip liner isn't doing it. I ended up getting my lips done. She kept up her fillers until her daughter Stormy was born, where at that point, she claimed to have gotten her filler dissolved, saying that she wanted to embrace a more natural look, but this didn't last for too long as fans noticed her lip filler made a return a short time later. Now before I carry on with the list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far and also an exciting announcement, Lindsay Ivan is launching her own reaction channel Peach at the end of May, so go subscribe and tell her that we sent you. At number 8, Lady Gaga. Even though she sings about being born this way, that doesn't seem to be entirely true. Lady Gaga doesn't seem like the type to lie about her appearance, as she's been known to be a relatively open person, but it seems like her plastic surgery journey is something that she will lie about and clearly she's been caught. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Gaga once claimed that she had never received any type of plastic surgery procedure, saying quote, I've never had any plastic surgery and there are many pop stars who have. I think that promoting insecurity in the form of plastic surgery is infinitely more harmful than an artistic expression related to body modification. But it looks like her claim of being all natural was a lie. During an interview with Howard Stern, she accidentally revealed her affinity for injections and revealed that she had in fact gotten some work done as she was once obsessed with getting facial injections. Though she may have resolved her obsession with Botox, she can't truly say that she's never gotten plastic surgery. Botox still counts, Gaga, but you still look fabulous regardless. At number 7, Sahar Tabar. Internet celebrity Sahar Tabar blew up on social media after she began posting pictures of herself with a dramatic look. She claimed that she had received 50 surgeries to achieve her drastic zombified look, claiming that the goal was to look like Angelina Jolie. A lot of people believed her story and took pity on her for having a botched look, but after shocking the internet, Sahar came clean about everything. Turns out everything was a lie. The zombie Angelina look, the story of how she got to look this way, and even her name turned out to be all one huge lie. Sahar's real name turned out to be Fatima Kishvand, and no, she hadn't really gotten 50 surgeries either. Instead, it was revealed that her entire corpse bride look came entirely from Dr. Photoshop. She came clean to her followers after posting a side-by-side -side comparison to her Instagram, showing how she really looks. She had been living this lie on the internet for quite some time, and because she had fooled so many people, and because her looks were so disturbing, she actually ended up getting in serious trouble with her government, and was actually sent to jail because of it. Even though this was all a lie, the consequences were severe and this served as a lesson to never tell a lie about your appearance. At number 6, Ashley Simpson. The 2000s were a seriously rough time for Ashley Simpson. First, she made major headlines after her cringy SNL lip sync fail, but to make things worse for her in the media, Ashley faced another scandal later on in 2006, this time for her appearance. In July of that year, Ashley appeared on the cover of Marie Claire magazine, where she was quoted saying that people should love their appearances and appreciate their bodies as they are. She essentially denounced getting plastic surgery and other alterations because natural is beautiful. But even after all that talk of 
being natural, Ashley went and got a nose job just shortly after the magazine hit newsstands. She was seen as a hypocrite and the magazine's editors received thousands of angry letters as a result. People were disappointed that Ashley would make those kinds of comments while having gone under the knife herself. She pretty much just tried to shrug the whole thing off and waited for the whole scandal to blow over, continuing to deny having gotten the procedure done, but then her dad spilled the beans confirming that she had in fact gotten a nose job. At number 5, Rose McGowan. Actress Rose McGowan is a pretty open person, so no one would expect her to lie about something as menial as plastic surgery, but surprise, surprise, it happened. Rose is comfortable bearing it all on the red carpet and opening up about her struggles in her memoir, but when it comes to her cosmetic procedures, that's where the lies come in. In the late 2000s, Rose was seen in public looking pretty different, and immediately the plastic surgery speculation began. When confronted about these rumors, Rose told the public that she had to get reconstructive surgery due to injury injuries that she had suffered in an accident, but later in her memoir Brave, she revealed that this was all a cover-up. Rose said that her publicist told her to make up this story for the public to make it seem like her new face was because of the accident, but in reality, she had gotten surgery to fix a mistake a doctor had made when she had undergone a procedure for her sinuses. It was still a corrective procedure, but for a completely different reason than the one that she initially gave. At number 4, Barry Manilow. One celebrity who has continuously denied their plastic surgery is singer Barry Manilow. For years, there has been speculation that he's gone under the knife on a few occasions, but Barry insists that he's never gotten any work done. In an interview, Barry claimed to have only undergone surgeries and treatments for his health, getting hip surgery, and receiving steroid shots, but a lot of people aren't really buying that and have pretty much revealed that he's been lying. It's been reported over the years that Barry has received a facelift in 1995, a second facelift and eyelid surgery in 2003, and then a third facelift in 2000. There are even photos of Barry from 2003 showing him leaving the plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. In the photos, he's pictured with his face wrapped up in bandages while wearing a disguise of sunglasses and a blonde wig to avoid getting recognized. Even though Barry continues to deny his procedures, even a celebrity plastic surgeon can't be fooled, with Dr. Tony Yoon saying that he thinks Barry has undergone too many procedures. But what do you guys think? Is Barry lying or telling the truth about his appearance? At number 3, Tyra Banks. For a long time, model Tyra Banks has been preaching about being all natural and about loving yourself for who you are. In the last few seasons of her show America's Next Top Model, she even made a point of proving to the modeling industry that everyone is beautiful by casting models of all shapes, sizes, and backgrounds, but now it's looking like this was all just hot air as she's been caught lying about getting work done. Tyra once claimed that she was quote, totally against plastic surgery, even going so far as to hire a doctor to come on her talk show to perform a breast exam in front of her live studio audience to show that she had never gotten work done like people had claimed, but it seems as though maybe that doctor should have paid more attention to her face because even though she's claimed to have never gone under the knife, it turns out that she's actually received a nose job. Tyra finally came clean about her procedure in her memoir Perfect is Boring, where she wrote, quote, natural beauty is unfair. I really get uncomfortable when women who are these natural beauties judge anybody who's done anything to themselves. I admit it fake hair, and I did my nose. I feel like I have a responsibility to tell the truth. At number two, NeNe Leakes. With a lot of the celebrities I've mentioned in this video, they've been denying having had plastic surgery, and then the truth was later revealed. But with reality star Nene Leakes, her story is the complete opposite. Nene has always been very vocal about the work that she's had done. From getting liposuction, a nose job, and breast augmentation surgery, she wasn't really hiding anything. But all of a sudden, her honesty about her past procedures completely went out the window. In 2013, she went on the Wendy Williams show and talked about how she was all for getting work done and spoke about how she was thinking of getting Botox in the future. Well, fast forward two years to 2013 and Nene sat down for another interview, this time with Bethany Frankel, and straight up denied ever having had plastic surgery. Everyone could tell that she had gotten some fillers and no one can forget all those times that she talked about her other surgeries. So when she claimed to be all natural saying, quote, why would I need plastic surgery? People were super confused and caught her in her lie. You can't take that kind of stuff back, Nene. And finally, at number one, Zach Efron. 
Now there's a lot of speculation with this one, so I'm gonna need you guys to sound off down in the comments and tell me whether or not you believe this. People are saying that Zac Efron has gotten some work done, and by some, I mean a lot. Zac recently showed up in a video about Earth Day looking a little different. The lower half of his face was looking super puffy, almost like he had gotten a lot of Botox done, and people are super confused. The internet was debating whether or not he had gotten plastic surgery, with some people chalking this all up to Zac simply getting wisdom teeth surgery, using that to explain all the puffiness, but others aren't so sure. According to one celebrity plastic surgeon, it looks like Zach may have gotten fillers to reshape his jawline. It's all just speculation and theory, but a lot of people are hoping that it's just a nasty reaction to a bee sting or something, and that this puffy swollen phase of his is only a temporary look. Number 10, Janice Dickinson. She was known as the world's first supermodel and was hugely successful during the 1970s and 80s. Recently, she's been Quite the TV star, appearing as a judge on America's Next Top Model, Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2007. The 67 year old model has never been shy about admitting that she's had plastic surgery and confessed to having a breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts, and liposuction and Botox in the past. Although the various surgeries had really gotten out of hand over the years, and in 2013 she declared herself bankrupt after after over $1 million in taxes and unpaid cosmetic bills. Two years later, she appeared on Botched to fix her boob job that was done 30 years before, saying at the time that she was no stranger to plastic surgery. But her perspective really changed in 2013 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. In fact, she initially thought the lump in her breast was a botched boob job, telling Entertainment Tonight, quote, if I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place. But Fortunately, the following year, she was declared cancer free after six weeks of radiation therapy. Number nine, Tara Reid. There's no doubt that the American Pie star was one of Hollywood's it girls in the late 90s and early 2000s. But while the actress was at the pinnacle of success in her career, she was also going through various issues stemming from botched plastic surgery. And she ended up missing out on a whole bunch of roles because of it. Tara claimed that in 2004, breast implants and liposuction surgeries left her with disfigurements that damaged her career. She told US Weekly, quote, My stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Tara said that after the procedures, she knew something was wrong when it came to her breast implants, but she was six months post-op when she realized that it had been terribly botched. Quote, the actual center part where the areola is, instead of it being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. She also went through an infamous wardrobe malfunction on the red carpet at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004, which resulted in her body going viral, which left her devastated. Tara said she cried and begged photographers not to release the photos because the last thing she wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. Number eight, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke was one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. He made his feature film debut with a minor role in Steven Spielberg's 1941 and garnered significant attention with 1981's Body Heat. However, in the early 90s, the actor decided to take up professional boxing. And while that brought him success, it also came with a string of severe facial injuries. Rourke reportedly faced a broken nose twice, suffered toe and rib injuries, a split tongue, a compressed cheekbone, and even short term her memory loss for some time. As a, as a result, the actor had to undergo several reconstructive surgeries to fix himself up, but most of them did not achieve the desired result, so he had to undergo even more surgery to correct those mistakes. Eventually, Rourke's facial features were nearly unrecognizable compared to his initial appearance. In 2009, he finally opened up to the Daily Mail about it. Quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together, which is really sad because it was probably just down to having a really sketchy plastic surgeon. Number seven, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla has always been admired for her beauty, but she has undergone multiple plastic surgery procedures in recent years, and some have gone a little bit too far. But this is all down to one tragic procedure in 2003 that should have never been done. The former wife of Elvis Presley was the victim of an unlicensed doctor and was left with botched plastic surgery that changed her looks forever. Dr. Daniel 
Daniel Serrano administered surgery on several Hollywood A-listers, including Lionel Richie, his ex-wife Diane, and Sean King, the late wife of CNN presenter and TV host Larry King. He only charged between three to five hundred dollars and operated on his clients at lavish cocktail parties in Hollywood. But Serrano was only a licensed nurse, and when he carried out the procedure, he used industrial-grade silicone, which is often used to lubricate car parts. The fake doctor eventually went to prison, and Priscilla has reportedly been undergoing corrective treatments ever since, but her changing face has also been attributed to Presley's alleged extensive history with plastic surgery, which reportedly includes multiple facelifts, laser treatments, as well as lip and cheek fillers. So this is probably why her look has changed so much over the years. Number 6. Lisa Rinna The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and soap opera actress Lisa Rinna has been very open about her plastic surgery choices, mainly her decision to plump her lips with injections, which definitely seemed to have gone a little bit too far. Rinna had permanent silicone filler injected into her top lip, which she initially loved, but eventually she decided to have it reduced after facing criticism for her appearance. She told People in 2010, quote, I was crazy to even touch them in the first place. In total, she's had four injections, and she explained that in the beginning, it was great, but after about 10 years, the silicone started seeping through her lip and creating scar tissue that was hard and bumpy. She claimed that when she would get photographed, her lips would look a certain way, and then people would start to talk. The TV star said that she even tried cortisone shots to reduce the swelling, but instead of helping it, it actually made them look worse. Quote, I have a doctor to remove as much as they possibly can because it got to the point where they were yucky. You know, they get hard, it's gross. Lisa said that the doctor took out as much silicone as possible and now her lips are somewhat back to normal. Number 5. Jennifer Grey After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer's career seemed to stall and although she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles, but Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out as anonymous. She told The Mirror in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell and she'll always be this once famous actress that nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, she was thrilled with the way she looked. Then less than a year later, she noticed that a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose. Jennifer then underwent a second surgery to correct the issue, but when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated, as many people did not believe that she was Jennifer Grey anymore. And she would often have to go to great lengths just to prove that she was in fact who she said she was. Number 4. Kylie Jenner the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has basically grown up in the spotlight, so her transformation from tween to teen and now a 20-something mother has all been before our very eyes. Which means that it's not hard to notice the drastic changes to Kylie's appearance in the more than 10 years since the show first aired in 2007. While fans have speculated about Kylie having undergone everything from lip filler to a Brazilian butt lift, it's hard to separate fact from fiction when it comes to her ever-changing aesthetic. But after years of denying that she had lip filler, the star eventually came clean about that particular cosmetic touch-up. During a 2015 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kylie admits, quote, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. But it's a little bit sad when you look at why she got it done. Quote, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I have really small lips. And it was just like one of my first kisses and a guy was like, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because you have such small lips. She also admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point, before her sisters pointed it out and said, Kylie, you need to chill. They were definitely right to let her know when it was becoming a little too much. Number 3. Reed Ewing The Modern Family actor stars in one of the most successful shows on television, but Reed revealed in a Huffington Post op-ed that he'd been waging a private battle with his looks. He bravely opened up about his battle with body dysmorphia, unhealthy obsession with his physical flaws, and the plastic surgery that he had turned to as a solution. Reed wrote that when he first moved to LA at 19, he would apparently sit alone in his apartment and take photos of himself, and try to analyze every single angle and feature of his face. 
Quote, after a few years of doing this, one day I decided I had to get cosmetic surgery. No one is allowed to be this ugly, I thought. It's unacceptable. In 2008, he decided to see a plastic surgeon to get the first of many surgeries he would go on to have. He wanted cheek implants and wrote that he genuinely believed if he had one procedure, he would suddenly look like Brad Pitt. But he wished he hadn't because that's where the nightmare began. Quote, after all the swelling finally went down, the results were horrendous. Reed isolated himself from everyone and it took him six months before he was comfortable with people even looking at him. It's extremely upsetting that his battle with body dysmorphia won and it just left him feeling worse about himself after all the surgery. Number two, Joan Van Ark. The actress became famous for her roles on the nighttime soap operas Dallas and Knott's Landing between the late 1970s to early 1990s. And while she was known to be extremely beautiful at the peak of her acting career, Joan's appearance has changed so much over the years due to her extreme addiction to plastic surgery. If you want to know the extent of the procedures, one source who allegedly saw Joan in January 2020 told the Globe that it looked like her face was melting. Now that's pretty harsh to say, but it might just be that bad, considering just how much the 79 year old has reportedly gone under the knife. We're talking about blepharoplasty, cheek and lip fillers, Botox injections. In fact, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yun told the National Enquirer that Van Ark's drastically changed appearance is also due to at least one or two facelifts, which is what caused her neckline and jawline to look tight. But this is all speculation and everyone knows working in the industry comes with various pressures to stay young. So addiction to cosmetic surgery is unfortunately something that comes with the territory. And coming in at number one, Katie Price. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As a 44 year old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years. And she got the first one when she was only 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She told the son, quote, I had my boobs done in Turkey and they looked deformed. They were absolutely awful. She's also had veneers done and in the and in June last year, Katie endured one of the most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day that she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her bum. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that has left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is definitely synonymous with her brand at this point, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plan to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before. 